if the only reason why a woman is with you is out of necessity, out of need, you don't need that woman. If that's the only reason why she's with you is because she has to be there, you don't, you, you shouldn't want her. The woman that's with you should choose to be with you because she wants to travel with you. That's why the, the vows for better or for worse through sickness and through health. That's why we say these vows because the woman that's with you should want to be with you regardless of any other factor. She wants to be with you. And the problem is we have trained and conditioned our black women to believe that the only reason they should get with a black man is if they have no other choice, if they need to. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I was listening to this sociologist talk about the problem with men. And one of the things he was talking about is that we got to find a balance between helping men, helping the boys, the males, without scaling back the advancements that the women have made. He was saying that there's nothing wrong with, with equality and all this stuff, right? But here's the thing. You cannot have true equality that's artificial. Because equality is not found in nature. That's the problem. It's artificial. So when you have, when you are artificially tweaking things to try to make things equal that are not equal, you inadvertently elevate the weaker above the stronger. And you give the lesser advantages because you feel like they need the advantages. You feel like they need the handouts. They need the, they need the extra. So you inadvertently cripple the dominant just so that the recessive can have a leg up so in, uh, under the appearance of being equal we are not equal men and women are not equals they are not equals again this is not no female hatred i am girl crazy i love women but women are not my equal and what you do when you try to make them your equal is you create an imbalance an inverted balance right where the men now are in the lesser, weaker positions socially and economically than are the women. And now you really create a, a, a imbalance in everything because now you break down the very structure of how they deal with each other. You know, I heard when I'm talking about um, how fatherhood was, was created. This had to be one of the craziest theories I've ever heard. This was a female said this. She was saying that at one time, human beings carry babies for like two, three years. The women, they carry babies for like three years. But they was having trouble at childbirth. So due to evolution, the process um, sped up so that the babies would come out early and they'd be smaller, right? Basically, what she was trying to say is that we, we were once like every other mammal. We have a baby and within an hour, the baby standing up walking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, she was saying once the process sped up, the process of pregnancy sped up and the babies came out earlier, the babies were real, real dependent on the mothers and the fathers, right? Well, the mothers. And she said what happened was because the mothers had to see to the baby, had to tend to the baby 24 seven, the role of father was, was then created because now the man was needed to take care of both of them while the mother tended to the child. Well, that's the craziest thing I ever heard, man. The truth of the matter is, if you go back to a natural environment, women simply cannot do the things that men can do. Name one thing that a woman can do outside of, 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 of getting pregnant and having a baby. Name one thing that a woman can do that a man can't do. Let me clarify this before I continue. I should have said that Anything a woman can do, a man can do it better, which is true because we are physically stronger. We are bigger. We are just more athletic naturally. You know what I'm saying? So anything a woman can do, our, our, our coordination is naturally better. You know what I'm saying? Not every female is a gymnast, but most men don't need to be a gymnast to have better coordination and better, better agility and everything than a woman, you know? 
We just have a lot more physically going on with us. But with the right tools and equipment, there's nothing a man can do that a woman can't do given the right equipment, but there's a reason why, like the real strenuous, laborous type jobs, you just won't see females doing it because females just don't have the body strength to do it. So anything a woman can do, a man can do it better. And that was the point I was making. There is nothing women can do better than men. So in a natural environment, what ends up happening is everything that needs to be created or built or made or whatever, the men make it. And while the men are making it and bringing it to it, bringing it to existence, the women are tending to the children and doing things like getting food ready, you know, preparing meals and stuff. The balance is set. Gender roles develop culturally due to nature. That's where it comes from, people. This was our nature. The gender roles were in us by nature. The system destroyed the gender roles by creating a society or a situation where women don't necessarily need men for anything outside of getting pregnant. That, I mean, that's basically all a woman needs you for is to impregnate her. After that, she don't need you for anything. And what, what that did to the more rogue of the women, right? The more feminist minded women, it created a competition now between men and women. Now, you only really see that played out among black women. Black women seem like they are definitely competing with black men. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's an imbalance. But in a natural environment, you won't see that kind of competition because we need, the, we need each other to coexist. So, we will work hand in hand to, to, to better our situation. We don't have to work hand in hand right now to better our situation. And this is why black women are choosing not to work with you because they don't have to. Which, I mean, you know, to be honest though, bro, if a woman is not with you because she want to be, if the only reason why a woman is with you is out of necessity, out of need, you don't need that woman. And you shouldn't want her. You shouldn't want her. If that's the only reason why she's with you is because she has to be there. You don't, you, you shouldn't want her. The woman that's with you should choose to be with you because she wants to travel with you, period. That's why the, the vows, for better or for worse, through sickness and through health, you know what I'm saying? That's why we say these vows, because the woman that's with you should want to be with you regardless of any other factor. She wants to be with you. And the problem is we have trained and conditioned our black women to believe that the only reason they should get with a black man is if they have no other choice, if they need to. Let me say this to be clear. The patriarchal society that we need to create can never have women leading it. They can never have women in any type of positions of power, authority, or influence. Never. Because women simply do not think about the betterment of everybody. They're not trained that way. It's gonna take some decades uh, and generations of rewiring to get women in general, especially black women, to stop looking at everything from the scope of black women are separate from black men. This is how they think right now. So don't, don't, don't come in my comment section blaming me. I didn't create this dynamic. This dynamic is there. I'm only acknowledging it and I'm telling y'all it is what it is. Since they have separated themselves from us, we need to let them go. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here, Brother Kush, AKA the Black Elf. Salam.